Nia, are you gonna go after another man in the sports world after this? What's up, y'all? It's Kelly West. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feeling this shit. So check this out. We all know about, you know, Amy Adoka, the Celtics uh, manager. I mean, the Celtics coach who got suspended for a year for his extracurricular, extracurricular activities on a job with the vice president's wife. What? Now, to keep it a buck with you, even though, yes, you know, he should not have risked his career over a woman. Ultimately, it was his own fault. But trying to be monogamous while, you know, while trying to be a free agent on the side, you know, someone is definitely going to get hurt. Unfortunately, for him, it was him who was doing all the hurting, and he is now financially. No! But at any rate, so, the way I look at it, to be honest, Nia Long's ego led to email Oduka to cheat at work. No! Yeah. Some of y'all might be like, you know, how does she make him go and screw somebody else. Well, let me explain. Now, people are around their coworkers more than they are around their real their own family, much less their spouse. Work relationships are convenient, especially if you're in a serious relationship or marriage at home. And me along must be difficult to date because she is still used as an epitome of beauty in the community because of movies like Friday and Love Jones. Hi, you guys. Hey. Ooh. But shit, that was 1995. That was a long ass time ago. And black people need to just go ahead and let that shit go. You know, she's done. She's 51 years old and no longer looks like how she did. 25, 30 years ago. Emotional damage. Now, black women, especially the most attractive ones, have an unreal expectation to believe that, you know, because they may look, you know, more attractive than most women or might even be more financially successful, they don't understand that their men would still be attracted to another woman. Now, if black women understood that men and women are not the same and that men do not compartmentalize sex with love, there'll be less divorce and more marriage in the community. My nigga. <laughs> now, because Nia Long shares the same mentality along with her fellow sisterhood, shit, Amy Adoko had no choice but to go for the easy bucket and sleep with a co-worker. What kind of shit is that? Now, yeah, I mean, shit, he could have went and got an escort. He could have went ahead and, like, got a groupie. But when you got a woman who's on you, like, white on rice, I mean, let's be real. Nia Long might still be an attractive black woman, but she knows she hit the wall, and at this point, she's probably trying to keep the best thing that she can get because if there was to ever break up, who is she going to replace him with? Ah, uh, Hey, how you, how you doing, Lady Eloise? I don't have any panties on. So, at the same time, she'd probably be mate guarding. Probably don't even give him any time to really cheat on the side. So, shit. He ended up, you know, old girl probably was flirt with him, probably be off in his face. And, of course, one thing led to um, another. Now, like I said, I'm not upholding his behavior, and I'm saying that Fellas, y'all should go risk just because you're in a monogamous marriage that you should risk losing your job or your money, you know, behind sex. 
but at the same time, just keep in mind, if you feel like you're being restricted and you're not really truly happy at home, maybe you need to have a conversation with your woman and maybe maybe monogamy is not really for you. But there's so many ways that they could go wrong and now it's affecting his money.